Hi, welcome to what will hopefully be the first of several screencasts that I do about plasma. Um, I'm starting to do these screencasts because it's getting hard to actually show what we're doing with plasma, which is static screenshots and, uh, and words in my blog um, and the other plasma developers' blogs. So uh, it's easier just to, to show some of these things in action. Um, before we start, a few disclaimers. Uh, this is still alpha quality code. Uh, artwork is not final. Uh, there's a lot of user interface elements that are, we're still uh, working with obviously we've got a lot of code in the guts uh, of the beast here to finish out before we can get all the uh, the gloss at the top uh, done uh, as well the screen capture program I'm using for some reason uh, kind of stretches the window uh, out when I do a capture uh, I'm using a widescreen uh, uh, monitor and I think it has something to do with that um, and also there's it, it's a bit choppier it's a lot smoother in real life, but this should give you an idea. So here is a, a standard kind of KD4 desktop um, as it looks right now in, uh, in, in Subversion. The panel is still being drawn by Kicker right now, though hopefully that will change very soon. Uh, the desktop here, however, is Plasma. So one of the things that we, we decided to do right from the beginning in Plasma was to get rid of the concept that there are some things that can be on your desktop, there are some things that can be on your panel, uh, and that the only place you can have neat widgets is either your, your desktop or your or your panels. So we, because for most users, it, there's no really good reason uh, in their mind, um, because it's a completely artificial limitation really, uh, an implementation detail that gets in their way, there's no reason why you can have one thing on, on your panel, but you can't also have it on your desktop or vice versa. So for instance, in KDE 3, we have a really nice weather applet for the panel, uh, and we also have a very beautiful one for Super Chromebook called Liquid Weather. They share nothing in common. They look different, they present different sets of data, they're configured completely differently, um, and that's, that's really unfortunate because we had to duplicate efforts so much, and you'd have some things that were really nice panel applets, some things that were really nice Super Chromebook widgets, and you, you kind of had to choose between either the two. You can have your cake and eat it too. Uh, we also want to provide new ways of, of uh, showing these kinds of widgets, you, not just on the desktop or the panels, but also media center kind of things, uh, full screen overlays, and even uh, making these things available for other KDE applications. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, one of these widgets, these add-ons we call plasmoids, to my desktop here. It's a clock. Yeah, you can see it's nice and big and shiny and pretty. Uh, it's very large actually, which is, is probably appropriate for maybe this desktop, um, uh, the size of my desktop. I want a nice big clock that, you know, is all rendered p um, pretty and moves and is animated. Now if I wanted to drag this, if this was a plasma panel, I could just drag it from this, uh, l the presentation layer, um, to the panel. Uh, we call the presentation layer in the code Corona, which is a really bad physics pun. A corona on the sun is where a lot of plasma activity happens. So uh, we've got the, the Corona that's sitting on the desktop, and this would be a, um, a Corona that was docked to the edge of the screen. So if I was to drag the clock from here onto the panel, you can see that I would need, obviously, a very large panel to contain it. Or we could shrink the size of the clock down so it would fit. Now this can work with a clock, because a clock, because it's got you know uh, very little uh, visual information, basically these three hands are the important bits, uh, they shrink down very nicely. So you can make this very small and even it's small enough to fit on here and still be able to tell the time from it. However, a weather applet, to go back to that example, uh, doesn't shrink down so well. If you have this much space to display things, you might show a map, you might show several uh, types of, of data, humidity, uh, wind direction, etc., that just wouldn't fit very well uh, on, a on a panel this size, so taking up a huge amount of horizontal space. Um, it would probably end up getting crunched down so small that you couldn't really see it. So this is the idea of form factors. Uh, this, this clock is running on the desktop, so it's in the desktop or planar form factor. We right now support four different form factors and if there's need in the future for more we'll, we can definitely add to that uh, but right now we, we have four. I'm going to make the desktop pretend that it's actually a horizontal panel. Now you can see when I did that, let me do that again for you, I'm going to switch back to desktop, the clock changed how it was, how it was presenting the information visually. So I'm going to do that again, keep your eye on the clock, I'm going to switch to horizontal panel, and what happens instead of drawing that nice pretty pretty clock, what we have now is just a simple little text label. The clock applet said, oh, 
I'm no longer running in, in a plane. I'm now running uh, in, a, in a horizontally constrained environment. So I'm going to change the way I present the information that I'm, I'm uh, showing. The clock, by the way, uh, is the plasmoid that we kind of use as the whipping boy uh, in, in, in Plasma. As we add new features and, and functionality, we test it out with uh, the, the time or the, the, uh, the clock applet. So doing this is actually very simple, responding to these, these changes, um, which we call constraints. And form factor is one of the constraints. There are other constraints, including location on, on the screen. So right now, it's, it, this, this applet knows that it is located on the desktop. It could also be floating. It could be in a media center presentation. Uh, it could be uh, docked to the edge of, this, of a screen, so either you know, top, bottom, left, or right. Um, it also, there are also constraints for suggested maximal sizes. Uh, so those are the constraints we have right now, form factor being one of them. In case